everybody and welcome to our hatch installation and implementation into evergreen tutorial this is the firefox version if you're looking for google chrome that'll be in a separate video so the first thing that we're going to do is download the installer so we could have hatch installed onto our computer and you can get this at evergreen-ils.org slash eg downloads if you end up at the home page you could also go to downloads and evergreen downloads and once you're here, you're going to go ahead and scroll down and look for this web staff client extension, and then you'll see a link for the installer. So you go ahead and just save that. I already have an installer uh, file that's already saved. I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. And once the installer is downloaded, I'm just going to go ahead and execute the file. If you get a uh, security message like this, just go to more info and then run anyway. Then you're also going to get an additional prompt. You won't be able to see in this tutorial, but it'll be asking if you want to allow this to make changes to your device, go ahead and click yes. And then your setup wizard will start. So what the setup wizard does very well with Chrome is it pre-installs the extension onto the browser. And it might do this for Firefox. So what you can do to make sure if you have it or not is go to this menu icon and add-ons and see if the extension is here. So I don't see it here, but what you can do instead is just go ahead and type in hatch and we're just gonna go ahead and manually install it. So we're looking for the hatch native messenger. Do add to Firefox and then it's gonna ask for a couple of permissions confirmations and now we see that it's uh, available. So if you go back to your um, add-ons manager, you could also toggle it on and off through here. Um, it's that simple and you could also remove it if need be from the screen as well. So I'm gonna go into Evergreen now. We're gonna implement it into our system. For the purpose of this tutorial, this is a 3.5 release. I'm gonna go to administration, workstation, print storage service with Hatch, and then you're gonna be coming to this screen. If Hatch is available, you're gonna get this nice happy green message here. If there is some problem with the installation through the browser or just through the installed version for your computer, you'll probably get a red message. that will say Hatch is not available with some additional information. But once it's available, you go ahead and just click that checkbox and you're done. Uh, one note here is that the storing set local settings to Hatch is deprecated. Uh, so it's not recommended to use this feature. Um, so just make sure that you have this checkbox empty. What you want to do is just focus on this one right here. And that's basically it. So another housekeeping note is if you're interested in taking a look at the program installed on your computer, I just uh, search programs and features, but that's accessible through the control panel. Um, evergreen ILS dash hatch dash uh, Java print java based uh, print service and so forth will be here um, it'll also give you version information and if you need to uninstall it you'll be doing it through this window otherwise that was how to install and implement hatch into evergreen through the firefox browser